Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a 30 minute lunch recipe that you're going to absolutely love. So for today's lunch, I'm going to be making skumawiki with beef and it's going to be so delicious. So over here, I've chopped up my beef into bite-sized pieces. I have my collard greens or skumawiki, one onion, tomato, some seasoning cube and cooking oil. That is all for this recipe. So it's very simple. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to move over to my stove top. I'm very happy because this recipe is going to turn out <laughs> so yummy. I've placed a very huge pan over here over medium heat. Added cooking oil. So the next thing is to add onions. This is one large onion. Onions and tomato. tomatoes are in season. So this is a very huge onion. I'm going to saute my onions until soft. Once my onion is ready, I'm going to be adding in my meat. I'm going to stir and spread the meat. Let the meat cook until tender. I'm going to stir and let my beef cook until tender. If your beef is tough, you can add a little bit of water and cook until tender. As my meat is cooking, I'm going to add two seasoning cubes. Stir in. And because the seasoning cubes usually have a lot of salt, I'm going to wait for everything to cook and then I'll check the seasoning. If you don't have the seasoning cubes, you can use salt and it will still be so delicious. I've been boiling my meat for around 5 minutes. This is how it's looking and it's very tender because I was using steak. So I'm going to add in one tomato and then I'm going to cook until the tomato is all mushy. This is after one minute. Once the tomatoes are ready, I'm going to be adding in my mboga. It seems quite a lot, but it's going to wilt down. Immediately, I'm going to start stirring in the skumawiki with the beef. A quick tip for making your green veggies, don't cover with a lid because the the veggies are going to the veggies or skumawiki is going to steam instead of cooking. So it's going to produce a lot of water, hence you are going to have a a very watery <laughs> skumawiki. So I'll keep on stirring as the skumawiki cooks. Check the seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's so perfect. This recipe is for about three people. It's been around 10 minutes. So in the next five minutes, I'm going to be making my ugali and I'm going to enjoy. Actually, that is 15 minutes. This is a 15 minute lunch recipe. But because you don't know if your beef is, is, it, it is tough, you can make your lunch for about 30 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, let me enjoy my lunch and thank you for watching this video until the end and i hope to catch you on my next video bye